Hello everybody and welcome back to part 5 of this random sculpting demonstration. Things are moving really really great here with this little crazy creature I'm making and in this video I'm going to show you how I make the nose. It's all about the nose in this video. I got to say this is a pretty nice looking nose. Cute as a little button, looks like a heart and it kind of gives it a bat feel which I, I like it. I like the way the sculpture is really going. You're going to be awfully surprised how easy it was for me to construct this nose. Anyhow, getting started right away here. I start off by rolling out a little ball of clay into a snake. And I fold it like a V and pinch it on the smaller part. And then just wrap the little legs around and it creates like a heart. Real easy to do. I mean, it's just as simple as you see. And the cool part about this is or at least making this type of nose is you could take your knife or whatever it is you're using to cut and depending on what angle you cut off the back side of it it'll determine on uh, how it, what the pitch of the nose is you know what angle it's gonna go up on there so that's pretty cool but anyhow this whole thing's going up there because I like all of it he's getting all of that nose so I press it on there and I work it on there really good and working with equal amounts of clay because you know me that's that's how I do it I put on little balls of clay on either side and all I'm trying to do is blend in that trying to taper it to the rest of the sculpture because the nose has one angle and then the face is at a different angle so this is to try to help flow it all together think of it as like caulking when you put a new counter up you know you want your your two corners to don't just come harshly together like that so you usually run a bead of caulking in there but it's really good to work with clay like that when you're working with pieces like this, which is what I do. But I'm working the clay in all the way around, pressing in there with my tool, and I'm trying to keep the original shape of the nose. This is just gonna set it for me, you know, get it going for me. I can come back later and do all kinds of details however I see fit. You might even consider this nose finished. You know, as soon as you stick it on the sculpture and go around it like I am right now, that it's finished. But for me, it's more of a starting point. From here, I can, I can use this as a foundation to just explore my imagination or whatever it is that I do when I do what I'm doing. And of course, when I'm done, you know, I always come back with my fingers and I, I like to smooth everything up. Even though I'm going to be cutting details and stuff in there, I like to smooth it up how, and take a look at how it all looks. Reason being is because that way you know what's there. I mean, the image can be underneath all that, or even adding to it. But it's good to get it, to find out what you have first before you start your final, all your little details and stuff. And right here, I'm just trying to restore a line that, where it's kind of clipped all the way up to the nose. I thought that looks really, really good like that. And I, I actually, I'm kind of surprised how well that nose blended right in with everything else. I mean, I mean, I know it's how I do it's that's how I do things but it just went on so nice and I'm making some faint marks here with that blunt tool whatever it is that I don't know what it is that I use all the time <laughs> I'm making some marks kind of lightly impressing on there that way if I don't like it it ain't too big of a of a deal and then I'm taking that homemade tool I make I made a long time ago and I'm just coming back and I'm cutting along those marks I made and I don't know if you can tell but I'm cutting at an angle to where I'm not using the full circle and depending on the angle of your cut it determines the width of your cut so it's actually cool you can use it multiple ways these little cutout tools and normally I don't do the texturing to the end of the project closer to the end but this nose was just so awesome I wanted to get some kind of wrinkles on there so we can test it out and see see how it looks I normally don't do this until later but I thought, what the heck, you know, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll do a more extensive texturing detail later on in this series. But for now, I just wanted to try it out. I'm just trying to nose out, you know what I mean? It's cute. It's like a, it reminds me of, it's like an alien rat rabbit. I don't know if that's like ugly or cute or, or what. Um, looking forward to hearing what you have to say about it. But anyhow, this, this pretty much is it for this video. Of course, once I'm done with all my tooling, I come back with a paintbrush, 
dry acrylic brush and do like tight circles and it just takes all that tool work away really makes it look nice and you can come back and texture that afterwards but I'm not doing that here since this is all I was going to be doing for this video was this nose I do appreciate you guys for checking this video out and taking the time to watch it it means a lot please like the video because it helps me a lot and drop me a comment because I really really love hearing from you guys it could be anything just drop me a smiley face but until next time, I really appreciate you. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you here again soon.